What's up everybody, how are we all doing today? I'm Jeremy, you're watching Warfels Morse. Today's video is going to be awesome. I know I say that all the time, but this time I mean it as, well, I mean it all the other times too, but hey. Today's video, we're going to take a look at clutch number four. They're all shut out and I have them all in their individual tubs already. Uh, they kind of shut out a couple days ago. I've been a little on the busy side. Uh, I wanted to get that last video out for the new pickup video. So I figure we're going to get this video out as well. Hopefully I can get it out this week yet. We'll see. But uh, we're going to take a look at, like I said, clutch number four. The pairing was a Desert Ghost to a Pewter Leopard female. So we hit, did pretty good on the odds. Sex odds, we kind of got killed. Uh, this was actually the first clutch we got killed on for the sex odds. But I can't complain. I mean, we've had a heck of a good season. So we'll get into that, but before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you a thing. All the support's greatly appreciated. Um, make sure you hit that notification bell so you're alerted next time I upload another video. And of course, smash that like button. It helps get our videos out into the uh, YouTube algorithm. And leave a comment down below. And of course, let me know which one of these babies is your favorite. Let's get into this. All right, so our first hatchling is our normal. Uh, the pairing again was a Desert Ghost to a Pewter Leopard. So everything in this clutch is Het Desert Ghost and you can just tell the influence of the Desert Ghost in there, even though it's a Het. I mean, it just amplifies that color ever so slightly, but it does make a big, big difference in the color of it. Makes those, the browns a little bit more like a, of a goldy, a little bit brighter, but beautiful, beautiful, normal female. She is going to be staying here for future breeding purposes to further along our Desert Ghost projects. But absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous snake. And our next hatchling up is our cinnamon female, which is also staying. The, the, the cinnamon gene is just an awesome looking gene. I love on how the Het Desert Ghost kind of amplifies that. The, go the browns, it makes it a little bit more goldy. Makes the blacks pop a lot more on her. Uh, do love what the cinnamon pattern does here with like the alien heads on how it makes like a, just a keyhole. And there, this female is going to be staying here. Just like the other one, just to uh, further along our Desert Ghost projects. But she is a phenomenal, phenomenal looking snake. Our next one up is a male cinnamon. But the only difference is, is that this one has leopard in it. You can see what the leopard just is blowing that normal cinnamon pattern. It's just blowing it up. He's making it go all do all sorts of crazy things. You're dragging it there. Leopard is just one of my favorite genes to work with. I mean, it's just what it does to pattern is amazing. It just leopard makes everything better in my opinion. I have not seen a leopard combo that I do not like. But this is a male that's trying to escape. That is a male, and he is going to be for sale. So if anybody's interested in him, male cinnamon leopard, het desert ghost, uh, just send me a message, email, whatever. Uh, let me know, and I'll get back to you. But this one is going to be up for sale. They haven't eaten yet, so uh, he's got to get some meals in him before he's ready to go. But he is going to be up for sale. The next one is definitely one of my favorites. I was hoping to produce one of these, and we did. I was actually hoping to produce a female version, but this is a male, Pastel Leopard absolutely love what, how pastel leopards look and that desert go the het desert ghost influence is just amplifying those colors on it ever so slightly and it makes it look that much better but look at that head 
That head is just phenomenal. I love on how it, Leopard causes it to pin, pinch back here and kind of gives it that arrowhead look. And there's that goofy pattern that the Leopard throws in. Or it's just kind of very, no, nothing's really consistent. It's just all over the place. But this is definitely one of my favorite snakes out of the clutch. Uh, he is going to be staying. If I can get him to get back into the frame. But yeah, he is going to be staying. So, sorry to any, if anybody was hoping that he'd be up for sale. I was going to sell him originally. Uh, after t doing a little bit of talking with Billy from Mutation Creation, he kind of gave me some insight that I didn't think of. So, uh, I was thankful for it because I didn't really want to get rid of him. But definitely made me think a little bit more and I did decide to hold on to this guy. And last but not least, the all gene animal out of the clutch, my personal favorite, which looks identical to mom, is our pewter leopard. The only thing is, is that this is a male also which was the main reason I was saying about getting selling the uh, pastel leopard male. But decided to hold both of them because what happens if I don't want to make, uh, say, Super Cinnies that are Desert Ghost? So I uh, came to the conclusion it's better to kind of keep both of them so I can work different angles of the Desert Ghost project. But this snake is just insane. I absolutely love how he looks. It, uh, he is a little bit brighter than what his mom was as a hatchling. So I, I can't wait to see how his colors are, act as uh, he matures. But absolutely phenomenal looking snake. I do, I, I just can't stress how much, how awesome I think this guy is. He's also going to be staying, like I said. But I think that there would have been a given. And he does not like to sit still at all. I struggled to get pictures of him earlier. Now I ended up just giving up. But absolutely amazing looking. Awesome, awesome looking hatchling. Well, that's clutch number four. I hope you guys enjoyed that clutch as much as I did. I know we had some phenomenal looking hatchlings in that one. Love that pewter leopard. Uh, he's just outstanding. I can't wait to produce an actual Desert Ghost version of him. Uh, that'll just be insane looking. And even the pastel leopard. I mean, Desert Ghost and any of that stuff is going to just look phenomenal. Uh, in my opinion, Desert Ghost is going to be one of those genes where it's got to be in there. It's going to be the main staple where it's got to be there, uh, in my opinion, anyway. I don't really see on how, in the future going, how uh, some of these projects can't have, like, Desert Ghost or even uh, Enhancer. Uh, basically the same thing, but there's that little bit of Enhancer is a little bit brighter of a gene. Um, but they're both phenomenal. Both kind of do the same thing. It is a slight difference, though. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's sad to see the season end, but we are starting our second season. Uh, we have two females that I've started pairing so far. One is our lesser uh, pet daddy, which she reabsorbed this season. So hopefully we can get her to go this season because I'd love to make some bells. Um, we did start pairing our banana female that gave us clutch number two. She started pairing up with her bumblebee clown male. So we got some pairing starting. Uh, the other three females are a little bit behind yet. So uh, hopefully we can get them starting to pair soon and we'll get season number two started because let's face it, I want some more eggs in that incubator and it just seems weird having it empty. I mean, it stinks. Uh, I want to make some more hatchlings. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, Hit the like button and leave me a comment down below which one of these hatchlings was your favorite. To me, hands down, it's definitely the pewter leopard. And then nipping on its heels is that pastel leopard. Leopard's just, it's just a phenomenal gene. It makes everything better. Um, I have yet to see anything a leopard hasn't looked good with. So, uh, yeah, 
Take it easy. We'll catch you next time.